the best gaming keyboard will join you on your greatest PC gaming triumphs and defeats for years to come. Aside from a gaming mouse, you will interact with your gaming keyboard more than any other piece of hardware on your desk, so it's important to choose the one that's right for you. So today in this video, we have listed some of the best gaming keyboards that might be the ones that you are looking for. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And for more information about the price, make sure to check out the description because I have listed the links. And if you are new to this channel, you are very welcome to subscribe and ring the bell icon. When you want to go the extra mile and upgrade to the absolute best of the best, it's hard to find a more premium option than the Corsair K100 RGB. B1 though, this is a big keyboard. Its enormous footprint still requires some desk clearing before it can be nested comfortably. But feature-wise, the K100 RGBs got it all. Dedicated media controls and a USB pass-through, a metal volume wheel, RGB lightning. Speaking of RGB, there is an aggressive amount of RGB in this keyboard. During our tests, we noted excellent key responses, a decent spread of keys for most hand sizes, and a satisfying tactile click to each press, and wonderfully dimpled keys to help you rest your fingers when you are not actually pressing down. While this all seems quite obvious, it shows that the K100 RGB nails the basics, as well as including the fancy extras, and that's why it's top of the list. All things to all people, that's almost what a Mountain Everest Max gaming keyboard represents and is one of my favorite designs since it first landed on my desk. I don't always need the numpad on a full-size keyboard, but it certainly comes in handy sometimes during the workday. When I'm gaming though, all I want is a compact TKL board to get my mouse and keyboard hands closer together and give me more desktop real stat to fling around my rodent. That's what the Avid Max offers, the flexibility to have your TKL cag and eat your numpad. Basically, the magnetically attaching numpad module can be attached to either side of the base mechanical TKL board and is completely hot swappable. It is also a board for the keyboard enthusiast with a base that allows you to pull out switches at will and replace them as easily as just pushing them in. You can also go for the bare bones board, picking your own switches and keycaps from the start to create a truly custom option. If even Mecca membrane keys don't suit you and you demand a full membrane typing gaming experience, the Razer Sinosa is the deck for you. I know there are people out there who prefer the soft embrace of a pure membrane switch and that's fine, each to their own. The Sinosa has some of the best feelings, low profile membrane keys I've ever tested and at a retail price of $60, it is one of the most affordable gaming keyboards out there. While it may lack some of the features, several gaming boards pack in these days, stuff like a dedicated wrist rest or media controls, it does boast Razer's expensive RGB lightning which can be programmed on a perky basis or applied by zones. It is a solid, no frills, nice looking keyboard that's the best membrane option of a huge range that I have tested. There is a step up version of the Sinosa available, still for $20 extra, the only real addition is underglow RGB. So unless that kind of ground effect package is massively appealing to you, I recommend you save your cash and invest in the best model. There is a trend towards $200 plus gaming keyboards in the market at the moment, but that does not mean there are not quality mechanical switchboards available at a more reasonable price. Often you will find these more budget-oriented options offering cheap switches from other manufacturers but the G-Skill KM360 comes featuring the classic Cherry MX Red Linear switch out of the game. 
If you cannot cope with your gaming board not lit up like a rainbow, then you may be disappointed with the single color option. But the white LEDs on this G-Skill board are the brightest I've ever seen. Normally I like to keep at max brightness all day long, but the KM360 would burn out my retina if I did. The KTL board is basic, but what it does, it does very well, it's solid, well built, reliable and looks pretty decent too. There is no wrist press, no pass through or media controls, but I will happily give it a pass in favor of affordable functionality. If you must pick up a wireless keyboard, then the Logitech G915 is a fine candidate. You will be required to spend that little bit more for wireless functionality than what we tend to see for wired mechanical keyboards with similar features. The Logitech G915 is $250. There's a slightly cheaper TKL version, but not so much so that we would instantly recommend it over the full size model. What you get for that significant cash investment is a sleek and sturdy board plated in brushed aluminium. There are some smart media controls in the upper right hand corner of the board, including a lovely volume wheel. And there's a handful of macro keys down the left side of the keyboard. These can be programmed to whatever you see fit on a per app or per game basis within the Logitech G software. It picks in all this without a massive overall footprint too. Coming in as one of the sleeker boards of the lot today, the White Cherry MX10 has beat it there though for better overs. For a board that can be illuminated in up to 16.9 million colors, the HyperX Alloy Elite sports a relatively simple aesthetic while still packing the features we expect out of a quality gaming keyboard. It comes in your choice of Cherry MX Brown, Blue and Red. What it lacks in a dedicated macro column, it makes up for with its reasonable price and quality, durable design. The HyperX Alloy Elite RGB leaves no feature box unchecked. It's equipped with dedicated media controls, a USB pass-through, a detachable wrist rest, and full RGB backlighting. It also includes an extra set of silver keycaps for WASD and the first four number keys. To up its aesthetics, the board supports full N key rollover, meaning you will never have to worry about the key presses not registering. The original Freestyle Edge from Kinesis was one of the best split ergonomic keyboards on the market. This upgraded RGB model improves on the original in several ways. It retains the split design, allowing you to set the decks, two halves at shoulder width and reduce back neck and shoulder strength. The gap also lets you drop a flight stick or hotest in between them for space sims or leave your controller within easy reach when you're typing in text chat or messenger between sessions. The Freestyle Edge RGB is also customizable with onboard storage for up to 9 user profiles, 10 dedicated macro keys on the left half, and the ability to customize every key individually. It's fully programmable without the use of any additional software, though it can also be customized through Kinesis, smartest software for an even more granular experience. Thank you for being with us so far. If you have liked our video today, make sure to leave your opinions in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon. See you guys in the next video. Stay tuned and stay blessed.